Well, but you remember we have two different categories, right? Yes. yes sir. So what group would this be? Salmon, Salmon and, and trout. trout. Salmon and trout. In this group? Bass. Bass, Bass family. Cod, Cod family. What? Well, that fish. Miscellaneous. 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 The miscellaneous can grow in a lot of different directions. Now, let me talk about the salmon and trout family. Where do they live? A boat on top of the water. And, uh, Where do they live? The reef. Oh no, they born in fresh water, move to salt water, and then back to back to fresh water to reef. Anadramus. Okay. Don't forget that. Very important. Anadramus. Born in fresh water, salt water, move back to spawn, and die back in uh, fresh water. So, uh, yeah, that, that's finished here. So we have salmon and trout, right? So what do I have here? King salmon. What do I have here? Pacific. Pacific king salmon. Okay. But when, you know, salmon, there are about 20 different species of salmon. So make sure you, spe uh, you speak up and let us know what, uh, which one it is. Now, that family has another thing in common, which is what? What's this fish called? That's the last time you got a peek over there, because by tomorrow that's going to be done. All right, they all have this out of this thing. So they are very easy to, to be recognized. Uh, what kind of bone structure do they have? Soft, soft. soft bones. So this, we have soft bones that tells us about the cutting method. The cutting method is? Straight. Straight. Now, what activity is this fish? High, high. High. high activity. What does that tell us for the bones for the uh, stock? It's oily. It's a high okay. oil and it's, and it's not good. We do not serve the bones for a stock. Okay, now let's go back to this fish. This is what, Kaylee? Uh, Pacific King Salmon. Pacific King Salmon. How do we recognize that? Black lips. Black lips. Black lips. Black tongue. What else? The most important thing here is those anal rays. The Pacific Salmon has about 12 to 18 of those anal rays. There are no spots on the gill plate, but there are some spots on the tail. But those are things with the spots, you know, Mother Nature is different. This is a good guideline, but not always a guarantee. The anal rays, they tell you exactly if they're Pacific or Atlantic salmon. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I have here, Farm raids, Arctic salmon. Farm raids, Atlantic salmon. Okay. Now, how do we recognize that? The spots on the spot on the and then gill plate. The spots on the gill plate. Eight to twelve. Anal rays. Eight to twelve. Much less. Now, also, see the difference on the tail? The tail is what? A little beaten up. It's farm raids. There's so many together. It does not develop or stay developed nice like over here. Morning, Chef. Morning, Chef. I'm just going to get some balls and just focus again. If you focus again, go ahead and do what you need to do. Okay, so what other, how else can we recognize that? Oh, uh, what the chef says? The, the mouth. The mouth, yes. Mm -hmm. Here, white tongue. White mouth. All right. What is this? Hmm? That would be a very big rainbow trout. This is a steelhead, steelhead trout. Okay, it's the relative of the rainbow trout, distant cousin. Because if you look at the markings, dark markings, the thing that's different is that line is red. You look at the rainbow trout, it's a freshwater cousin. The same markings. Dark spots. And what do we have here? Arctic char. Arctic char. How do we rec recognize that? The white spots. Light spots on a darker background. And also the color is a little bit more silver and a little more bluish towards the top. You feel good about this now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
last time we had those notes there. So if you need any of those, take this. But starting tomorrow, you're going to tell me everything we need to know. All right, so this is what family? Bass. The Bass family. Now, if you look at the Bass family, they all have a few things in common. One item, one way you definitely can recognize them would be what? Alien. That's right. The Hershey Kiss shaped pill plate. They all have that. Now, what activity is this? God bless you. Medium. 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 So what does that tell us bless you. for? That's enough. It's, it's good for stock. <laughs> it's good for stock. We had soft bones here, we have hard bones here. So therefore the hard bones up and over method. tells us what kind of fabricating method, up and over. All right, so what do I have here? What fish, what species? This is a striped bass. How do we recognize that? Stripes. By continuing stripes, two dorsal fins. And it always will have a, some kind of hook in their mouth. A marking, either plastic or something, it's a different material. But it always will have that. And what does that tell us? Tell him. No, I'm sorry. Colby. Colby. Okay. I'll get to it. <laughs> that it was fished properly? Yeah, yeah. That means it was fished by a licensed fisherman. So that means, well, why do they do that? For uh, overfishing and... Right, right, because there's a, a, there used to be moratorium on, on striped bass. Now it's open again, but the fishing season is according to a certain tonnage. It started, yes? Is it two or something? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, it started off, last week we had him from Maryland. This one here is from Delaware. So that means Maryland is fished out. They reach a certain amount of tonnage. So if it's a licensed fisherman, they check it, they weigh it, and then once Delaware is done with their tonnage, it might go up to New Jersey and then goes up and down the East Coast again. So they always control it. So your wild striped bass needs to have this. There's another species, looks like it, is a little bit smaller. And as a matter of fact, when they had a moratorium, they created that species, it became a hybrid. It's a hybrid striped bass. We don't have that here today. It's smaller and it does not have a continued line. It's a little bit interrupted. So once we have that here, you will see the difference. Any questions on the bass? So, Chef, you're saying that it's more like a dotted line, almost? Yeah, it's a dotted line, but here it's continued. On the uh, hybrid stripe bass, it's interrupted. You might see a spot there. No, no dots. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. What fish do we have here? Pretty. It's tilefish. It has a continued dorsal fin. And it also has one of those adipose fins, but right here. In front of the dorsal fin has the golden marks, the golden spots all the way through. And it's really not a bass, because it doesn't act like a bass, but it has the uh, same Hershey Kiss skill plate, so we're gonna put that in that category. We're good with the tile fish? Yes. Okay, and here I have what? Red blooper. Why do you say red snapper? What kind of red snapper? There's only one red snapper. Then we have five, six other red snappers, but they have different names. Okay. But this is a red snapper. And why, how do we know that? The black, black ring, ring around the black eye. That's the only one that has a black ring around the eye. The color, the reddish, that sometimes changes a little bit. Sometimes it gets a little bit more yellowish in there, a little more blue, but, but they all have that reddish tone. 
and then there's some additional markings later on. But the red snapper, gill plate, continued dorsal fin, black ring around the eye. And here we have Brittany. Yeah, yeah, it starts with black sea bass. Black sea bass also has a continued dorsal fin, but actually you, you can recognize it by its marking, the white, uh, all those white dots in there. We're good? Is that rear uh, fin? The what? The rear, the tail rudder. Is it, are they all like that? The caudal fins, yeah. they, they open up. Oh, okay. They open up. The rear is what? We're not in the Navy. <laughs> caudal fins. Caudal. Caudal? C-A-U-D-A-L. Okay. Caudal. Okay. And who knows what this is? Who brought it out? Who put it on there? Huh? Anyway, this is a dual rod. Dual rod or a seat frame. And it always has that light stripe in front of the head. And you also have that, that black spot near the uh, gill plate. And this is, what's that black spot? Like where did they live? They live underneath there in the reefs and so far. So when they peek out, come out a little bit further, so the predators might think it's a larger fish because they might think there's a second eye there, so it makes it look like a bigger fish. Okay, dual rod. Any questions? Good there? Now what is this family here? The cod family. Cod family. What activity? Low. Uh, low activity. And that means what? It's good for stock. It's it is not. good for stock or the bones are good for stock? The bones are good for stock. The bones are good for stock. Because it we not going to use for stock. We do other things with it. Low activity, that means low fat or oil content. We save the bones for stock. What bones? Hard bones. Hard bones. So that means up and over. Up and over. All right. Now the cod family, when you look at them, they all have a few things in common. One thing is right there, the eyes, a little bit set back. They call them. They all have the cod eyes. Okay. They're all a little bit further back in. They all, well, when I say all, there's always an exception. There's already one coming up. But as a rule, the cod family has three dorsal fins. Okay, you know all the, the names of the fins, right? Right, Heather? What are some of the other fins we have? We have the dorsal fins, and what else? We have the um, caudal fin. Caudal fin. This would be pectoral, and then this would be pelvic fin. Okay, so you need to know those things. You need to know everything we're talking about. You need to know all this, and we don't have much time. So on day seven, you have your first big test of seal identification. You need to know all those things. Okay, so this fish is what? I know all of you ate it at one time or the other. Did you ever go to Mickey D's and have a fish sandwich? Evan? Pollock. Pollock, and that's 
fish used for fish sandwiches, fish steaks, and, and so forth. So, very good. Use. So, what is different here? It has that white line here. It's darker, a little bit darker on top, and they all have that marking here. A little pinkish marking somewhere around their belly. Okay, now, what is the market form for this fish? What is the mark? What do I, what do I mean by market form? Uh, the way you order it up? Yeah, yeah. Strong. When you go. It's okay, that's okay. It's strong. Why do you say that? Because that's what they know. Right. Now, if the gut's still up in there. In the round? In the round. In the round? Wrong. What would this one be? The market form? Dressed. Dressed. Head it dressed. and cut it. If it's dressed, you would have to remove the fins as well. Okay. Could you get the telephone? Yes. Please? I'll just take a message. We're in our lecture right now. Okay, any questions about the pollock? What fish is this? Hey, hey. Hey, yes. Now let's go back one more second. How do we recognize the cod family beside the eyes? This is called a barbell. So that means they're ground fish. They it's like a little antenna for them when they move around. Barbell. B A R B E O. Now this fish does not have a head on, but they have these things here, and they are called what? Allison. Um, I forget. <coughs> Just I told us yesterday. He did. I bet he did. Now, if somebody tells you something, you got to keep it in there. Then you got to share it with us. They're called the whips. Okay. Now. It has, it has a continued dorsal fin, not three dorsal fins. And also a continued anal fin. Oh, you the demo, Chef? That's all right, Chef. What do you need? I just need the K5 uh, fish order. 